the goal, these emotions celebrated by players and by spectators has produced a real record during the World Cup France 1998 in pleasure and joy. Lovely ball to Capu from Dunga. It's got them in trouble. It's got in off Tommy Boyd. It's an own goal. Capu claims it. Scotland so unlucky. Jury just failed to reach the ball. It came off Jim Layton from Capu's shot and then rebounded home off Tommy Boyd. It's a lovely pass from Taha and plenty of space here for Hadji. Goal for Morocco. Dan Egan came across, but the slight of foot from Hadji beat him, and then the shot sped past Grodas. What a chance for Norway to hit back. Berg, it's in. It came off Shipo. Henningberg made the challenge, but it has to go down here as an own goal by the unfortunate Schiphol. It's a lovely run from Hadar. Oh, Morocco are back in front. Well, the movement was too good, and it was Egan who was struggling here. And great control. And the goal beautifully taken. Jonovic to whip it in. Awkward for the goalkeeper. Forced in by Egan. Well, if he's not so overjoyed, it's perhaps because his defending hasn't been the top class tonight. But he was Johnny on the spot and it's 2-2. Reset. Oh, and they've left flow. Have on flow. And Scotland can see the goal right at the start of the second half. Here's David Weir. Craig Burley chasing. And Burley gets there. Well, it's been an enterprising period of play from Scotland. And it's been rewarded with the equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Still nil nil. And Ronaldo's onside. And the best player in the world scores for Brazil. You can't afford in that sort of space. And plenty of options here for Brazil. They have Capu free on the right if they can pick him out. This is Capu. And that's 2 0. It's Rivaldo. Morocco was swamped then as Capu drove over the cross. Ronaldo. He's got clear of Saber. He's round the defence. Bebeto's waiting. Bebeto scores. And it's all over now for Morocco. Long ball, Henry backtracking, but not sufficiently, and Bashir scores. Really struck it well. Leighton beaten on his near post. Praise be, but not for Scotland. Looking for Hadda, and he's got away from David Weir. And is it going in? It is! It's 2-0 Morocco. Pushed up in the air by Jim Layton, and he's unable to recover. Another long 
searching ball. Finds header. It's a useful header. Bashir, lovely skill, and resisted the challenge. And scores! Got an affection, I think, of Hendry. Danielson. Still. Well, the referees let him go on. And Bebeto scores! Well, that was extraordinary because it looked as though the referee was going to give Brazil a free kick. By not doing that, he's allowed them the goal from Bebeto. 12 minutes to go. Flow in a trial of strength with Junior Baiano. And Torre Andre Flo has struck back for Norway. All his own work. A very fine goal from a very fine player. It's wrecked up. It's 2-1 to Norway. An extraordinary turnaround. And how the man with the yellow boots has hurt those wearing the yellow shirts. Delight for Egil Olsen. Baggio. Oh, what a great first touch, and here's Christian Vieri, and Italy lead, ten minutes gone. A lovely, very simple goal, quality of the pass by Baggio, the pace of the side foot by Vieri, quick enough. Up goes Samarano, and Celes! 1-1. One, one. Oh, and look what it means. Really attacked the ball, Zamorano. And Salas, instant reaction when it came to him. Zamorano too good for Cannavaro. And Faliuca couldn't save the day. Baggio to take. And scores! Roberto Baggio ended the last World Cup by missing a penalty. Opens this one by scoring one. Vital for Italy. Ten minutes to go. Still nil-nil. This is Najanka now for Cameroon. He's round one. Oh, it's one of the goals of the World Cup so far. What a goal by Najanka. He tore through the heart of the Austrian defence. And look at this for a finish. What a goal. Austria flirting with defeat now. And here's Polster. He's equalised in stoppage time. Austria's most experienced player has done it to avoid defeat for Austria. Zamorano, Salas is there, Salas has turned the ball over the line. Austria claim it's not a goal, but the referee from Egypt says it is. And Austria have scored one late goal already in this competition. Is Bastic? Oh, they got another! Bastic with another late, late strike to rescue Austria. Plenty in the box for Italy. Di Biagio found that half yard of space from Roberto Baggio's cross and then found the corner. short of numbers, this is Christian Vieri and that's a lovely finish 2-0 to Italy lovely chip as the goalkeeper went down <laughs> 